hello there. My name is Lucian Flavius. You rejoin me at a moment in my life I feel I may come to view with considerable regret. In case it isn't immediately obvious, what I'm currently looking at is a living, breathing, terrifying dragon, covered in blood, and no doubt about to unleash a torrent of fire that will surely burn me from this mortal plane for good. I've taken a moment to reflect upon my current situation, and the relative brevity of my continued existence should I remain on this path, and I've come to the conclusion that, in this instance, discretion, as they say, may be the better part of valour. With that in mind, my ultimate analysis is that the only sensible course of action, given the variables presented to me, is firstly to turn around as quickly as possible, and secondly, to run! Ah! Gosh, feel that heat! Look at it move! Absolutely incredible! Yes, I think, on reflection, perhaps, this fight might be better fought from a distance. Mortals can provide. Wait, is that talking? Is the dragon actually speaking? It must be sentient. How absolutely fascinating. It's also, however, extremely dangerous. I'll see you. Move so fast. I'd better move. You alright, Gore? We can do this. Look at all that blood. How many hits can it take? Getting closer. Getting closer very quickly. Come on, then! We're nearly there! Dobuki? No! Is that it? Is it over? What's happening? I don't get how military need space to swim a war ever. What? What was that? Light! That burning! It feels so strange. So... I can't believe it. You're... Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What... What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I... I, I really couldn't say. I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Shout? What are you talking about? I don't know how to That's shout. Right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. And I'm certainly nothing like there Tiber Septim. any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irleth. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That sounds wise. If you wise. really are Dragonborn, like out of the old tales, you ought to be able to shout. Can you? Have you tried? Well, I don't know. I can feel something. 
That word I saw back in Bleak Fool's Barrow. It's like it's itching to get out. They say the Dragonborn can shout without any trading, like Talos himself. I think... I think if I concentrate, if I give myself over to it, then... You try to shout. Then I might... I might... Foos! He summons the two. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. I don't know. I don't know what that was. I don't... I don't understand. What? How? What? What was that power? What was that? I don't understand what's happening to me. I don't understand. I don't understand. What? What? Who? How? <sighs> All right. Okay, Lucian. Calm down. Calm down and get a grip. I'm glad you're on our side. All right. We taught that dragon not to mess with White Run, didn't we? This is a dead dragon. The first dead dragon that's been seen for thousands of years. Come on, Lucian. Samples. We need samples. Concentrate on that. Marvelous. The value, the research value of these. Absolutely fascinating, but me? Dragonborn? No. No, no, it's just, it's just a legend. It's just nonsense. I, I don't know what that magic was. I don't understand what's happening to me. But there's no reason to jump to conclusions that it's that. No, it's just a story. They're just myths, and while all myths and stories have an element of truth, me? Lucian Flavius? Dragonborn? No. No, that's ridiculous. That's beyond ridiculous. That's, that's laughable. Oh, heavens! Excuse you! In a hurry! No. I think... I think I need to go to bed. I think I need to sleep. I think, I think I'm exhausted. I think I'm stressed. I think I'm overwhelmed. It's just they say too much. Grimy. Perhaps weapons that can make heroes out of beggars. <laughs> I'd like to see him turn Embry into a dragonborn. What was that noise? Dovakin. That's what they said. In fact, that's what the dragon said, wasn't it? When it died? Didn't it say Dovakin? Unless I imagined it. But no, it was definitely this talking. This was as stupid as our feud with Clan Greymane. I've got so much to think about. There's so much on my mind. I can feel the thoughts churning around. It's too much. This is this is too much. This is this is more than I bargained for. This is more than it should have been. This was just an adventure. They say Helgen got. Look, you already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around just and go adventure. back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. Also, what, what does it all mean? No, it's too late for that now. I need to sleep. Uh, no, thank you, sir. Really not in the best mood for harking right now, if that's all right. Uh, good night. Come on in. Let me know if you need any. Warmth. Civility. You want a drink? Uh, uh, I, yes. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I think I should eat. I should. Um... Uh, perhaps some bread? Yes. And some beef. That'll go down very well. And then I think... I think I need water. And, uh, yes, I suppose on an occasion like this, wouldn't hurt to treat oneself to a sweet roll. Now, please, that no more questions. That was just lying around? Good fuck. Ah. Gosh, I was thirsty. I need, 
I need to sit down. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Yes. That is just what I needed. Mm -mm. Much better for that. Hmm? What's this? Seeking treasure hunters. Help wanted. Curator Orion Morellus is seeking able-bodied adventurers to seek out and recover lost artifacts of historical relevance for the soon-to-be-reopened museum in Solitude. Anyone interested should apply there in person. All deliveries of authentic artifacts will be well compensated. Orion Morellus, Curator, Dragonborn Gallery, Solitude. Well, that sounds much more like it. That's what I came here for. None of this dragon fighting nonsense. None of this destiny. Keep your eyes straight ahead. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the into Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? I'd like to rent a sure room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Oh, it's, it's quite alright. I know the way. Thank you. Let's see. Here. Right. I think... I think sleep. There's plenty more with us. Just give a holler. Good night. Thank you. I'll, uh, see you in the morning. Let me know if there's anything Hello? else you need. No, what are you doing in my room? Do you mind? I was... Were you watching me sleep? Hold her! Hold her! Some people. I hope you stayed somewhere else, Gore. You didn't just sleep on the floor, did you? Do you know, I had the most remarkable dream. I dreamed that we fought a dragon and that I absorbed something from it, and... and I was... Dragonborn? Wait. That actually happened, didn't it? Oh dear. Oh. What does it all mean? Well. First things first, I think a spot of breakfast. Everything feels better once you've had breakfast. Now, let's have a think. A little while ago, we picked up those spell tomes, and I think now would be a wonderful opportunity to give them a read. Let's see, Frostbite. Ah, yes, I understand. And, uh, let's award. Let's just give them a practice, shall we? Let's see. Frostbite. And less award. Ah, now. But I think we've learned our lesson from last time. Looks like they managed to clean off the scorch said. marks. Perhaps they found a better cleaning implement than oh, this cheese. You so, now perhaps we should go outside for a demonstration. Yes, I think that might be wiser. Right now, this looks like a much better spot. Excuse me. I I can handle. Over here. This talk of dragons, world gone mad. Yeah. Oh, that's chilly. That's awfully chilly. And what about? Ah, yes. I understand the concept. Gore, I think these two spells will come in awfully handy. Now, I suppose. We'd better go and talk to the Jarl about what happened yesterday. Another beautiful day, at least. A beautiful day to be the Dragonborn. Do you know, Gore, I feel much better about it all this morning. A good night's sleep was all I needed. I mean, so what if I'm Dragonborn? So what if I absorb energy from dead dragons and blast it out of my mouth? It's not really a problem in the grand scheme of things. It's not like it means I'm going to have to go and climb a mountain or anything ridiculous like that. No, I think so long as this conversation goes well, everything's going to be fine. Right. Good. 
You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. Marvelous. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Oh. Who beards? We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened Honor at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Ah, yes, about that. The Watchtower might have been a tiny bit destroyed, but we killed the dragon, so yay! I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Well, when the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you shield. returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the greybeards. Summoning you to High Rothgar. Summoning? This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Good Ranga, to see you. calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? Uh, no. High Why Hrothgar would I? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very... Disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. Oh, it was nothing By really. My right is Jarl. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Oh, I... I, I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Well, Back that's long life. That's awfully kind of you. Have a city to defend. Your helpfulness, but but yes, my lord. But I can't. White run. If I never saw dragons reach Honor to again, see you again my fame. it'd be too soon. I mean, can you believe this, Gaul? Summons! I'm being summoned by some voice in the sky because I'm something called Dragonborn. Because I have this power that I've absorbed from a dragon. And it's me! I'm Lucian! Lucian Flavius! I don't get summoned. I don't have powers. I'm not special. I'm just... I'm just... I'm just a person! I'm just me. I don't... I don't have time for this. I don't have the inclination for this. I don't... I don't need a destiny. I'm just here to find things out. I'm here to learn. I'm not here to... be a dragonborn. And I'm not here to have to carry so much Provence. stuff. Go yeah. Give me a hand here. Just leave me all the food. If you could just take... Some of this. Just hold on to these samples. They're very important. Don't damage them or eat them, please. Is that alright? You alright with all that? Alright then. 
All right then. No. No, I've made up my mind. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house carl. It's an honor to serve you. What does a house carl do anyway? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Well, I suppose if you're determined to assist me, then I suppose I could use your help. Lead the way. Right then. Summon to high Hrothgar, the very idea. Do you think I'm climbing a mountain just because just because there was some voice in the sky? No, 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 no. I have a much more interesting proposition. I have an invitation. An invitation to go and meet a museum curator to talk about learning things, to talk about artifacts, to talk about history, to talk about things that matter to me. Not this Nordic mythology destiny thing. I just can't be dealing with it. It's just too much. I just, I just need some space. You there. We're looking for someone in Wyfron. We will pay good money for information. I'm sorry, I just don't have time for this right now. You cannot now. hide from us forever. Ra, Kazit has something important to tell you. I'm sorry? The heavens fail from the sky. Who are you? What? 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 What are you talking about? The spheres. They broke into millions of pieces above the sea of ghosts. Right. Panic. Panic. Nern is ending. Kajit needs help, Dragonborn. How, how, how do you know? How do you know I'm... What? What? Oh, calm down. Just calm down. What happened? Shards of the stars. Magic everywhere. Boom. Lashido. Um, I suppose I could possibly take a look at the stars that fell into the sea of ghosts? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Kajit thanks you. Right. Your Take your loot. That's what you said. Hmm? You're you're welcome, I suppose. How bizarre. No, I know where I'm going and what I'm doing. And it's not climbing a mountain. No, that's not for me. Thank you very much. Sounds cold and uncomfortable. I need a carriage. That's what I need. I need a brave and handsome horsey to take me to solitude. Where's the driver? Ah, oh, there. Hello, good sir. Need a ride? I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? I know exactly where I want to go. I think. Uh, half in straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Yes. Take me straight to solitude. Climb and back, and we'll be off. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. What? What's going on? A fight? Stormcloaks? Heavens! I don't it, like this city. Is it over? It's been so long since I killed the Stormcloak. My sword arm is getting flabby. Uh, Be it's been literally seconds? No? Well then. Stay alert. Never know when the Stormcloak dogs might charge. That was quite the welcome. So this is if you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. Remarkable. I've always wanted to see the city. How exciting. Come along then, Gore. Come along, Lydia. We have a city to explore. They can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Tell them he didn't do it. What's going on here? Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Oh. Lock the city gate. Get on An execution. With it. You betrayed us. Well, I'm not staying for this. Not my kind of entertainment, like thank you very much. Does she know now, now. Looking for Rob the museum. Actually in solitude. What a 
gorgeous city. Absolutely beautiful. Now, where's this museum? Ah, that could be it. Welcome to the Bard's College. Oh, I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? Oh, I I do apologize. I was um I was looking for the museum. I'm I'm so sorry. May song speed you along. Oh, well, thank you so much. Uh perhaps I'll uh, come back another time. I've always wondered about being a bard. Wouldn't that be interesting? But not today. Gosh, Lydia, do you have to stand quite so close? Now, oh, museum. Museum. Ah! That looks like... The Blue Palace and this... Dragonborn Gallery. Well then, never mind Greybeards, never mind Destiny. This is where I want to be. And I can't wait to get started.